Hello. Hi, LJ. So, uh, what are you going to demonstrate, Bjorn? The plan is I'll, I'll show you um, a scenario where a vulnerable web application will affect you as the end user as well. So I've found a, a web vulnerability on this site that I can use to inject code into the site so I can add uh, a malicious applet to the site that you can view later on. Uh, so what's happening here is I'm going to create a, a new forum post on this vulnerable forum that we've discovered. And since I've uh, discovered that, there's, uh, that I'm able to inject code into the page, I can be a bit naughty and I can inject a, a malicious Java application that hopefully will be run in your browser when you visit the page. So what you've done is you've put some, you've put a normal hi type message, yeah, and then on the end of that message you've added some secret code exactly. <laughs> that people clicking on it or even looking at that page yeah. wouldn't necessarily be aware of. Hopefully they won't even notice. Do you feel, do you feel ready? I, I feel ready right. to uh, be hacked. So if you, if you refresh the forum page there and, and okay. view the threads, the new threads. And I can so. see, hey guys, I'm new here. Yeah. Well, so, that, that doesn't seem at all on, worrying. As you can see on my terminal, uh, there's a, a connection been opened between my computer and your computer. So just by here, going to the page. Just I've not by even visiting the page. Clicked on, hey guys, I'm new no, here. You haven't you haven't interacted in any other way than just viewing the page. Okay, so why is it that just by visiting this page, you're able to control this machine? Uh, thankfully, for this demonstration at least, mm -hmm. this computer is running an old version of, of Java, so it's vulnerable to to uh, the, the malicious applet that I uploaded to the site. Okay. So that allows me to take control over your computer completely. Yeah. I'm assuming it means that you can access my private files? Absolutely. I can do anything that you could do sitting in front of the computer. You could run programs? Absolutely. Okay. We, and this is because I haven't updated Java on my theoretical machine? Absolutely. Okay. So we'll see if we can, can demonstrate this by uh, opening up your webcam and, and streaming that session to us and see. <laughs> oh, there you are. At least part of you. Yes, I am <laughs> quite short. Obviously, a light has come on on this machine. Right. Um, so if I am looking out for this, I can tell that the webcam is turned on. But if I'm not looking out for that, right. then uh, that's quite scary. It is, isn't it? And we could do other things. We could browse through your files or even listen through your microphone, which wouldn't give you a light for example, so we can listen into the room you're sitting in, hear everything around you that, that your microphone can pick up. So a computer that's not up to date with Java right. could become a listening device. Absolutely. And Java is only one example, of course. There are plenty of other applications that you need to keep updated if you want to run them.